But Dan Mawed, and welcome to the sheds. We are back again shedding the lights on everything that matters. Is there a possibility to see, uh, as you unveiling those, those names, to see with your former president such as Jacob Zuma emerging in the act? May I believe uh, in leaders who emerge out of struggle. I don't, I don't believe in uh, uh, people who are made by the media. The ANC is still trying to grapple um, with power. It is still trying, you know, to cling on to power. And most probably that's why we're also even finding it very difficult for not just only the ANC, but also other political parties coming into the fore when it came to the review of the electoral bill. We are talking about an 80.9 billion budget of the city of Johannesburg. Basically to run the city, there's about 80 billion, 900 million that is involved. Somebody will ask, what does it mean to preside over a budget this big? I haven't had time to sit back and say, hey man, well done. Uh, my focus really has been in ensuring that we are moving forward, we are sustaining. Yeah. So maybe in December, uh, sitting down with a glass of whiskey, I can say no. Yeah. Uh, at it least, means, yeah, you know. I want to ask this, Doctor, because I think currently, as you've seen, uh, in, 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 our, in our country, especially yeah. in the space of social media, mm -hmm. you see people coming out having a meltdown uh, yeah. of, 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 of mental illness. Mm -hmm. Do you think people, because they don't know how to deal with it, some they just cause outbursts in those spaces. Do you think maybe the problem is that we're not having much discussion about it, that people they don't know where to go yeah. when they start to, 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 to experience it? The most important thing is that the people, they need to vote in line with the kind of future they want to live in. They can't be voting because of the past or not wanting to, to participate in voting at all. Mm. So what we're saying is the ATM critically, we need to invest in the future. Mm. And the future lies in educating our young people. Mm. From the look of things and the researches that have been done, it looks like we won't, we won't get an outright majority. The thing was always there, the, the, the phrase was there. Mm. But we needed to take it, clothe it, because we, I viewed it as a, a civic activism with purpose that needed to meet. Actually, the breaking point was seeing the people that I looked up to, Baba, subjected into such things and they had to succumb to it. Ababa uh, is the, is, is the, what meek, or I don't want to say meek, Abandaba, who are hard workers. South Africa today mm. spends 143 million rent every day paying these so called independent power producers of renewable energy who deliver zero because 100% of their power is redundant, meaning it is not usable in the grid. I've got three clean audits, I've finalized more than 60,000 complaints and uh, um, you know issued 412 reports and by last year it was only uh, what 14 or 17 which were set aside and it's not even a percentage. I think 30 years or so now down the line the time to review the constitution has come. Well, Danny, and welcome to the sheds. We are back again, shedding light on everything that matters. We're in front of the camera talking things that belong to behind the camera film production. Mm -hmm. We're shedding light and happy Women's Month with Tselane uh, Dipok. Oh, my sister, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you right. so much. Yes. You are a producer. Yes, I am. How does one become a producer? How does one become a producer? Yeah. Okay, so basically it's behind the scenes. For me, it's actually innate. It is something that I didn't go to school for. Mm. So what happened is that um, during COVID 2021, I spent a lot of time by myself. Oh, and then, okay. Yes, and then I started to just start writing and writing. So I'm like, you know what, with this writing, let me just go and do something about it. And then I started to do songwriting and then script writing. Oh. So and then I'm like, you know what? Let me just pursue scripts, doing scripts. Yeah. Wow, so it's something in a nutshell, something that you, COVID inspired you to, to start to write about films, yeah. to write about. But what, what are some of the things that interested you that you wrote and made them into films? What are the, some of the topics that you, you look at our nation and say, this are the things that we need to, to put into film and, and tackle it and get the, the, the country basically talking? 
So I started with um, Africa's Home. Yeah. That was the first film. I'm like, you know what? There's um, a lot of imbalances in our country, in our, especially for the generations to come. So we need to actually develop a new Africa, a new yeah. South Africa because of the injustices of um, xenophobia and yeah. racism, especially with the new affair, the current affairs about the... Um, the Pretoria Girls High, yeah, yeah. there's racism still even now in 2024. And it keeps coming. It yeah. keeps on yeah. coming. So we really not healed from our past. So that's why I decided, you know what, let me start with this um, Africa's Home and then other films are, are still upcoming. Okay. <laughs> so yes. We'll zoom into Africa is Home and uh, discussing the economic imbalances in Africa. Producing is often known as, as, as a work that, I mean, famous producers are men. So it's a male-dominated, the yes. film industry in general mm. is male-dominated, be it producing, be it directing, the behind-the-camera uh, space often belongs to men, mm. and women are often in front of the camera. How have you managed to penetrate that space and be able to finally produce your own. Okay, so what I did was that after writing a script and then I went to meet up with um, some people at Arise Studios. Yeah. yeah, that's where it all started. And then I'm like, you know what, this is what I want to do. Can you please assist me with this? And then they said, okay, that's fine. Let's go for it. Yes, so that's how it all came about because women are yeah. are, are belittled yeah. and yes, so I wanted to also encourage uh, especially young women that you know what there's um there's a lot of things that you can do and you shouldn't be afraid to do it. So yeah, that's what we need to just a follow up with the husband. Why producing? Why not directing? Why not acting? I mean, mm -hmm. uh, people grow up want to be in front of the camera. Mm. Producing takes the fame away. I mean, producers don't even get remembered all the time. Why producing in particular? I prefer to be behind the scenes so that people can see my work. <laughs> yes, my work is more of a story. It's more of my life. I'm yeah. just showing a part of my life to the people. So I don't really need to be in front of the camera. Oh. Yeah. Yes. yes. I think in the forum, plans to say, to ask Austin and is what, what what are you passionate about? Uh, um, um, you know, a film directors or film, uh, you know, writers often have a have a, a certain way of looking at life. What what are you passionate about uh, in in your writings, especially in the context of South African Africa? What are some of the things that you're passionate about? Okay, the the things that um, inspire me mostly is because. Um, I just, I, I like drama. <laughs> Sorry. <to say. laughs> yes. So um, I always watched drama. And when I was young, the, the likes of Days of Our Lives, I was always watching Soapies, yeah, yeah. um, Bold and the Beautiful, Isipa. Yeah. So that's what actually inspired me that, you know what, let me do something like this. Yes. So that's how it came all about. Is it only Africa? is my home that you've produced so far? Because I want us to zoom into mm -hmm. Africa is my home, but I want to first understand if that's the only one you've produced or there's other ones you've produced or other ones that are coming. Yes, there are other ones coming. Africa is at home is more of a, not a stepping stone. It's just to showcase um, a, a piece of our work that, hey, um, we we are entering into the film industry, so watch the space. So yes, um, we do have other projects upcoming, and we we still are looking for funding and sponsorships and um, partnerships. I actually wanted to ask that because the budget that yeah. is before we talk about it, the nitty gritties of the film, mm -hmm. the budget that is involved mm -hmm. and funding. Mm -hmm. And, and all of that. How how did you navigate that space? Was it difficult? Was it something that, yeah. <laughs> okay, this one was very difficult <laughs> okay. to produce. Uh, so um, what happened was that, okay, you know what? I, I told my friends that, hey, I want to do this. So um, can you help me out? So my friends, the actors, they, 
the upcoming actors because yeah. I want to promote upcoming then people who are already there. And then they were like, you know what? It's fine. Let us do this. Let us support you in this um, film. And then we did not have budget. Mm -hmm. It was very difficult to actually get money for yeah. this. Yeah. So we just used limited, we just had limited resources. We used whatever we could. Yes. Before Yaneso comes in, I know he's itching to come in, but I want to find <laughs> out about uh, going back again about the film uh, industry per se. And, and I mean, I think he's already said it's male dominated. And, and often people, the viewers, the audience, they see the final product. Uh, you know, can you tell us what goes into film? Because a lot of, I'm sure, work goes into, you know, producing a film from writing to, to having people act. And it takes a long time. You know, can you just break it down? What goes into producing a film? Okay. Yeah. With the Africa, is that home? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, awesome. Okay, so basically, I'm just going to talk about the background on yeah. how I started with this film. Okay, so I wrote a script, and then after that, I went to Rise, um, met up with the White Cliff Mazo, he's our director. Okay. Then I told him that, hi, I want to do this film. Mm -hmm. Can we please just... um. Can you can we work together on this film? Yeah. So and then he said, That's fine, we have cameras. Mm -hmm. And then um what I had to do is just come up with um actors, bring yep. actors and obviously the script and refreshments and and as well as um where we're going to where the film is going to take place. Okay. So luckily the film was um close to where we stay. Okay. Yes. So, so I... on, on transport. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so yes, that's correct. So um what I did, I had to ask for permission if we could use the area okay. where we are staying. Yeah. And then they supported me and said, Okay, that's fine with that. And then the actors are my friends. So um they didn't mind because I told them that you know what, I do not have any finances yes. right now. So I want to just get my story out there about the injustices of um, xenophobia yeah. and um, racism. Yes. Wow. So that's what happened. What, what goes on, um, just, just the actual content, you've touched on injustices, yes. xenophobia and all yes, that, yes. but well, how do you zoom into that? Do you portray injustice? Do you portray solutions to injustice? Do you complain about it? How do you play around that space of portraying injustice, xenophobia, and Africa? What is your portrayal of Africa in that manner? Okay. Um, with the Miss South Africa, mm. I actually relate with that story because um, her mom is um, South African and okay. her father is... Um, the father is Zimbabwean or oh, Nigerian, yeah. yes. So with me, I have two kids as well. Um, the fathers, they not um, South African. So for me, it really touched me. But the me. children are born in South Africa. Yes, but so the they are children, South yes. Yeah. So, so for me, it's, it, it, in a way, it's unfair because it means that the children, what's going to happen to their future? Mm -hmm. Are they safe here in yeah. South Africa? Or are they going to be t told to go back to your father's mm -hmm. land or what's going to happen? happen so that's why i wanted to develop a new south africa whereby we embrace each other mm -hmm. it doesn't matter your culture it doesn't matter your your, background. your race yes. your background your color we just all africa is just one so if myself a south african goes to zimbabwe i must be um respected if a zimbabwe comes to south africa they must also be respected mm. and they mustn't um feel that you know what no zimbabweans or nigerians are criminals and mm. stuff like that how would i feel if i were to go to nigeria and then they feel they feel that no south africans are criminals yeah. mm. so we we as Africa, we should be one. We should be supporting each other and loving each other, embracing each other's languages, cultures, and our differences because South Africa alone is diverse. Yeah. Yes. So that's what I so wanted to do. You portray. zoom into 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 that space. Were there any challenges, especially finding actors and actresses? And and again, this goes back to the issue of funding. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, how does that one go? How do you get the best suitable mm. actors and actresses for your film? Yeah, that was a bit of a challenge because to get an actor, mm. you actually have to, they have a fee yeah. and you have yeah. to go through an agency. Mm. 
So, and then I'm, I, myself, I decided, okay, maybe I can try this agency, but then it didn't work. So mm. I'm like, no, I'm a producer. Let me just mm. stick to what I'm good at. So my friends, luckily, they upcoming actors. So I was able to... Um, to call in to... favors. Yeah. So you're uh, right, tit for tat, <laughs> yeah, yeah. you expose them so that their talent is out there. In the, in the meantime, they also help you get your work out there. Yeah. Exactly. For a win-win that. situation. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes. I just want to zoom out also, fell up to your film you, 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 you wrote, uh, Africa is Home. Um, and it's, it's quite a powerful message. Uh, and, uh, you know... Is, is there a narrative that you want to change to South Africans to say this is how you're supposed to, I mean, you're speaking about the issue of diversity, yes. which is where South Africa comes from, I mean, with about 11 languages. Mm. Uh, and it's quite a powerful uh, statement to say Africa is home. Are you trying to tell a story that it's a home for everyone who's in Africa and you must look into that? Uh, uh, what, what perception are you trying to change? Okay, um, what, what I'm trying to change is that, okay, Afri South Africa... Yes, we've got uh, different cultures by itself, different languages. But then the problem, not really a problem, Africans, they attracted to, to South Africa and mm. some of them are yeah. born and raised here. So we, we shouldn't feel that, you know what, um, no, you're not a South African. They should also feel that they're at home here in, in South Africa as well. Yeah. Yes, so we I don't want them to feel... Mm. that there is inequality in South Africa. I I want Africa to know that mm. they are welcome in South Africa. We'll support them, we'll love them, we'll see them as brothers and sisters. Mm. So that's basically what I just wanted to um, get out there with the film. Mm. Uh, let's talk about where do you want to see this film going? Uh, you know, do you want it to take to school in Africa, in the rest of the world? Where do you see it going? Okay, um, as I said, uh, this film is just um, a foot within the industry. Yeah. So basically what we want to do is actually create more films. Our next film is called Breadwinner. So we're looking for fans and sponsorships and partnerships. So whoever is willing to assist will be glad to and welcome them. So um, with this, is just... Um, just to showcase a, a, mm. an art, a, a piece of yeah. our work, yes. In in which platforms? Is it something that goes to the cinemas, mshigas, which are dying at the moment, or your platforms like Netflix, YouTube, Prime Video, Showmax, or SAPC? I know SAPC is big on low-cost productions as part of yeah. showcasing. And Have you approached any platform out there and say, I would like to showcase this. Are you interested? Uh, yes, we have actually. So what we're basically doing, we've been sending proposals at almost all the um, networks within South Africa, DSTV, SABC, even Netflix itself. Uh, we want our work to actually be all over the world, yeah. not just limited to South Africa or Africa. So, yeah, so that's what we... How have you been received? With. Any responses? No, not yet. That's why it's with, as a woman, it's difficult to actually enter the industry. Department of yes. Arts and Culture, when there's a new, very active minister now, have you tried knocking <laughs> there, saying he seems to understand, uh, you know, poor backgrounds, backgrounds mm -hmm. of underprivileged and mm -hmm. things like that. Have you tried that space perhaps? Uh, we just actually sent a proposal once and then they responded and said that we should submit it again. So we'll try and do so it again. Yeah. yeah, so we hope, yes, we hope for that they will respond and we're hoping that there'll be a positive outcome out of this. Yeah. Yes. Before you depart, I want to find something else about, do you think that South Africans, are we telling our stories as Africa? Uh, do you think our stories are told by Africans? To the world, or do you think we are not telling good stories enough that are shaping Africa, positive stories? Do you think we are lagging in that department? Yes. Maybe there's more stories that need to be to be going out. Yeah. 
Yes, I feel that South Africa is um, more focused on only yeah. South Africans. Mm. There's not really a lot of films or telenovelas, which I love, which I watch all the time. Yeah. They more focus on South Africans and South Africa. So we are limiting ourselves. We can actually do better and greater and be able to even... Um, include Africans as there are more Africans in our country. So we should be embracing each other and creating more films for the world out there, yes. A lot of people have spoken about Africa in multiple forms. One speak about United Africa, you know, mirroring the states, like United States of Africa. Others have spoken about Africa using one currency, which will make Africa a powerhouse in terms of trading with other people. Others have talking about introducing one language that can cut across and be used by all Africans and things like that. What is your primary wish for Africa? Where do you see, if, if you were to be a decision maker regarding a direction Africa should take in all our countries, what would that be? One specific thing you think if Africa can do this, it would get it right. Okay. In currencies, no, I don't believe we can. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes, in one language, <laughs> no, we, no, that, that won't really work. Mm. So what I, I would really want as South African and Africa is that we work together, that you know what, if you, if, if a South African is maybe looking for a job, uh -huh. um, not overseas, yeah. somewhere in Africa. There they shouldn't be any boundaries or yeah. limitations. They, we should be able to support one another mm. because most of the Africans, mm. to tell the truth, I'm sure they, uh. they come here because of poverty mm. in, the, in their countries. So what we should do is try and develop each other and be all one and help one another. Your advice to up-and-coming <laughs> producers, young females like yourself, women in general, and as far as the film industry is concerned, mm. that which you've been exposed to, what would you advise anybody who is interested in the space? Okay. Um, there's a, can I just go back to the Bible? Yeah. No, no, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Cool. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yes, um, I'm inspired by the book of um, Ruth. No, not Ruth, sorry, Esther. I'm inspired by the book not of... Not Solomon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Solomon is a man. I'm a woman, <laughs> yes. so we should embrace women. Yes, Esther. <laughs> yes, mm. Esther. There's a book of Esther. Um, Esther in, in Esther, it's mm. about a young girl going into the uh, the king's court and then she becomes a queen mm. making decisions for to better the next generation mm. not only what she sees so i want us women to be more like that mm. more like women whereby you know what what we do now it's not for what we see now it's for the generations to come yeah, so, so i want us women to, to... To be queens making decisions for the yes. benefit of future generations. Yes. Basically Amazing. that women of decorum, yes. women of stagnance, yes. women of stature. Women of substance. Yes. Like, the 1956 women who <laughs> marched to... Know, yes, brothers, just know. like Winnie Mandela. Yes, yes, we yes, should be yes. women like brain. that. <laughs> yes. Oh, okay. That's cool. Yes. Yes. Okay. Anything you, that's... No, yeah. where can people catch you? Are you on, maybe on Insta? Are you on Facebook? Where, where people can catch you? Maybe with the developments that you're saying, I mean, you're still cooking mm. uh, other yes. projects in a pipeline. When can people catch you? They can catch me on Wixel Studios. We're on all social media platforms. Yeah. We're on Instagram. We're on YouTube. We're on Facebook. Yeah. We're on Twitter. Mm. It's actually X, right? Yes. yes, it's X now. we everywhere. Wixel Studios. Thank you very much. Thanks for joining us. That was Tselani uh, Tipogo. We are also on social media as The Sheds on all platforms. We come to you on Soto TV every Tuesday at 9 o'clock and on the Shreds podcast on Wednesday, 12 o'clock. Keep following us. We're shedding light on a lot of different other interesting but very building things. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.